Here's Chelsea Memel. She came out of nowhere and won a world championship in 2005. Then injuries derailed her. The Olympics in Athens got taken away, and she is still with it. She's top three here in this national championship, and this is a huge day for her in terms of the Olympics. And she was phenomenal day one on this event right here. Watch this. Transition to the low bar. Beautiful work. She flies high on the bars. That's one of the reasons why she is a world champion on this event as well as in the all-around. She was the second best bar worker in the first day of competition. That was behind Nastia. And she knows that this is the event that she could most help the United States. She feels they're weak here. She feels she could be the number two girl on the team. Here we go. Big dismount. Watch this. Right to a handstand. Double front. She looked like an Olympian to me. She sure did, you know, and she told us that she does not come into this competition at her top form. Says, I can't stay at my very best for two months. She gets a hug from her dad and coach Andy Memel and Lori Glazer. Lori told me that it was so wonderful to see Chelsea Memel in day one and, and to just see those eyes, that fire. It, it, it was so great to have it back. She said, said it was a lot of fun. And the other great quality to Chelsea Memo's work is the mental toughness. After being out for so long, she comes to the championship and just nails every event, one after the other. She comes She's from West Dallas, Wisconsin, and just about every kid that grows up there dreams of going to the Olympics, winter or summer. Yeah, I got to tell you, that Wisconsin, there's something about it because there's a guy named Paul Hom who happens to be the toughest male gymnast I think I've ever seen, and I, I don't know if there's anyone tougher than her. Ivana Hong needs this. Day one of competition did not go well for this young woman from Blue Springs, Missouri. And this is actually not her best event, but she does have, she's got a lot in her corner. She's got an amazing program that she works with, her coaches. That program, Gage, sent two gymnasts to the Olympic Games in 2004, Courtney McCool and Taryn Humphrey. When we first came on the air, she talked about the big mind game that this sport is. She, of course, was part of that world team that they are world champions. She went to that competition, though, and the judges just tore her bar routine apart. She got a very low score, had to come back home and completely, completely learn a new uneven bar routine that it was extremely frustrating. Yeah, and just for the record, she really enjoyed that skill. She thought it was pretty cool, but obviously needs to do everything that she needs to get the high start value. What she does have, obviously, in her corner is beautiful execution. Can't take that away from her. Yeah, some of the best that I have ever seen. Hey, that looked great. Yeah, some of the absolute best lines, toes, knees that I've ever seen, not just from a U.S. gymnast, but anybody in the world. She, she is comparable to the very, very best in the world. Getting a hug from one of her coaches, Armini. She also was a, a fabulous gymnast from the former Soviet Union. And Ivana really needed this set, especially to start off this competition. She thinks one of her great qualities is her consistency. So I think she was extremely surprised in the first day of competition of how she performed and probably a little upset with herself. But once again, it's all, it's all about the way you look in gymnastics. It's not just throwing the ball through the hoop. It's what it looks like when it's going in, and she does that exquisitely.